kick off Friday night. You can see the opening ceremonies right here on Local 4. And uh, there's a lot that goes into the athletes' diets. And here to show us how to eat like a champion is someone <laughs> who's made it to the Olympics twice. We have Jared Swallow here. How are you? Good morning, Jason. Good to see you again. Thanks. Last time I saw you, I played for a different Olympic team. <laughs> <laughs> but we were talking about food. Five-time <laughs> U.S. national champion, two-time Skate America champion. Carrie Aprick is also here. She is the consulting dietitian for the Olympic Committee. How's it going? Great. I love working with them. It's been great. How so? Yeah. Um, well, I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of registered dietitians that work with Olympians every day. Um, medical staff is great, and basically everyone we've encountered, all the athletes are excited and motivated, and it's been a good learning experience. What are you going to fix, uh, fix up for us today? Uh, it looks like you have a mixture of, what is that, quinoa and berries? Yes, or? yeah. So all the food that's here was provided by and uh, made by Chef Terry Watson from Ice Sports Cafe at Detroit Skate Club. Um, what we he have here is basically a play on oatmeal. So right. instead of using oats, we've used quinoa, which is a really nice grain because it has a lot of different vitamins and minerals, um, antioxidants actually as well that help with recovery. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is taken the quinoa, we're going to mix it up with a little bit of peanut butter, some berries, a little bit of cinnamon and honey, and this would be a great thing to have in the morning prior to a training session. Where's the medium rare steak? <laughs> Not in this one. Not in this one. Maybe at night. No, while you're mixing <laughs> that up, I'm going to ask Jerry, what did you eat when you were training? Well, uh, we were training in a, in a time where um, certainly we ate a lot, <laughs> but we didn't necessarily put that much thought into what we were eating. So it's, it's, uh, nutrition has become more prevalent in an athlete's regimen, um, but we ate what we were craving. Um, and so in your case? In our, a lot of ice cream, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we were eating often, and you're, you're always trying to fuel your body, replenish it with what you've used up so that you can get ready for the next day. I know. I mean, uh, on this show, I need to keep my energy up, so it's Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, pretty much all morning Sugar, long. yeah, sugar. That'll do it. Sugar, yep. sugar, and more sugar. <laughs> um, and while you continue to mix that, uh, let's uh, talk about the bid that's uh, still yes. out there. Let's yes. Tell everybody at home what we're talking the about. The Detroit Sports Commission, uh, along with Olympia Entertainment, and the Detroit Skating Club put together a bid to host the 2018 U.S. Figure Skating Championships, which is also the Olympic Trials. Uh -huh. um, so we are one of three cities in the running. Uh, Anaheim and San Jose, I believe, are, are two of the other cities interested in, in hosting. We had a site visit in June, very successful. Uh, and we should hear this month in August whether or not the Nationals will come back to Detroit in 2018. Gotcha. Okay, so now we see that honey is being drizzled. Yep on top of the go. finished product here. <laughs> um, and that's just a healthy boom boom snack right there. Yeah, yeah, and both of these meals were meant to be easy and also be things that can be prepared um, in bulk. Athletes can eat them all week long. And also, thank you, um, all in one pot, easy to travel with, pack with you to take to the rink. What do we have here? I'm switch places. So this is um, basically a salad, but what's different about it is we've got some whole grains that are incorporated in. So that. I would take, yeah, if it wasn't in this big, beautiful platter, I would mix it all together in a big bowl. And again, a nice one pot meal. It's got a good balance of carbohydrates, proteins, healthy fats for recovery, and uh, Tastes pretty good too. It looks good. Yeah. Too. Presentation's nice. What's over Thank there you. on the plate? So we have here um, a variety of different snacks that I recommend for athletes. Um, snacks before and during training kind of depend on the intensity of the training day. So the more intense the activity, the more carbohydrates we need and the variety of carbohydrates we need. Um, on skill work days, days that aren't quite as intense, we don't need as many carbohydrates. So we can incorporate things like almonds and string cheese. Post-workout, we have um, nice, rich protein sources. Uh, whey protein is actually the best thing that we recommend as far as recovery goes. So that's why the dairy products are featured as part of recovery. Sure. Isn't there protein in ice cream too, Kay? A little bit. Jared, um, <laughs> yeah. I took, actually, I had some of this and I did not burst into flames, can you believe it? <laughs> I'm sure it's delicious. I, 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 I want a bowl too, Carrie. Yeah, you know? you're welcome to it. Yeah. I'm, I, while she's serving that up, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that you, the, the uh, honey is there in place of actual sugar. So that's the trade-off, Yep, right? it is a sugar, but a little bit of sugar can give you a little boost of energy. Honey also is a natural source that has some antioxidants as well. Jared, a moment yep. ago, we, uh, you and I covered the bid. Um, that that's still, you're going to find out here probably in the next Hopefully month or so. Hopefully the next month, right. Um, why is Detroit, I mean, looking at two California cities, but then Detroit, sorry. Excuse me. Why is Detroit a great place to have the, the trials? Well, figure skating, the figure skating in community, uh, the figure skating community in Detroit is 
very large, and we've had a, a long history of great champions from this city. Um, and we can definitely host and take care of the figure skating community uh, that's coming in from the nation. All right. Um, and it's, uh, it's a very popular sport here in Detroit. We have a lot of success. Very popular. Well, thank mm -hmm. you both for being here. Uh, the recipe will be on the, L, um, the Live in the D page on mm -hmm. Click On, not, not the Facebook page. The <laughs> Live in the D page that's on ClickOnDetroit.com. I want to make that sure, you know, I'm sure that everybody knows about that. He's going to eat. You're going to feed the, the whole I'll feed crew, you, right? yeah. Come on over. We'll feed you. All right. And